Hello again, and welcome back to Scott and Wanda's world, for the time being, for how long, who knows, I don't know, just haven't come up with a name for the channel, have got a name for the podcast though, so stay tuned tomorrow, I'm fairly certain that's when I'm going to announce the name of the podcast and everything around that really, very, very excited by the podcast and the the name of the podcast is yeah i think it sums sums me up quite nicely so was in aldi shopping don't go into little much anymore because wanda doesn't like out a uh, little for something that happened uh, that was disgraceful so the only reason i will go into little now is to pick up the new beer on that note this week on Thursday, there's a new beer, uh, new beers, they're all old beers, you've got Zoom time going into Lidl, you've got uh, Lost in Mosaic, you've got the Checkmates is back, stay tuned for that. Um, and there's some other bits and pieces, oh, the Belgian beer boxes, was that in there already or it's in there this week? So, get yourself down to Lidl. Uh, but yeah, we shop, we shop in Aldi now, Aldi's better, not for beer, generally, but better. Best some nice stuff in Aldi. And while I was in there, I saw, well, Wanda saw this actually, and thought it sounded quite like a a well known biscuit brand that uh, Fat Ugly ones back with another one of his bullshit beer reviews. Fat Man sits in the shed, talking about the beer he's currently drinking. Um, I forgot that bit. Yeah, she saw this and thought, "Well, why don't you do this and then you can compare it to the well known biscuit brand?" I thought, eh, "Nah," but I said, "No." And then we've been back to Aldi a couple of times, looking for bits and pieces, just food-wise, shopping. I saw it again. She said, well, why don't you do that against the biscuits? I went, no. And then we were back in again. And she said, well, why don't you do that against the biscuits? So I picked it up. All one's idea. So this is Harper's Brewing Company's Caramel Biscuit Flavour Beer. Harper's Brewing Company, also known as Marston's, I do believe. I think they do the brewing of this Harper's name beer. I might be wrong if I am. Then feel free to correct me because I don't care. If you correct me or not, it's all good. So yeah, Harper's Brewing Company, Caramel Biscuit Beer, a Moorish biscuit beer with caramelised brown sugar notes and noble hops. So she's got no bitterness to it, hopefully. Um, caramel biscuit beer, four point eight percent on the ABV, and I think it was about one pound seventy nine. Now, anybody that caramel biscuit beer, the well known biscuit brand, is the Biscoff Lo Lotus biscuits. Now, you may notice that this packet is fairly empty. That's because me and Wanda quite like the Biscoff Lotus Caram Caramel Biscuits. So I've bought three in. There's a few left in the um in the pot as well. But I thought what I would do, I would compare the Caramel Biscuit type flavoured beer with the Caramel Flavoured Biscuits to see if there's any resemblance to these. So yeah, £1.79, 169 £1.79, I think it was a bottle or something like that. Anything on the back? Oh, cool. Absolutely diddly squat. Nothing to do with Jeremy Clarkson. Uh, barley and sulfites oh. may also contain wheat. It doesn't sound very fucking inspiring, does it? Anyway, let's get it out. We'll have a sniff and a snuff. And see what happens and see if it smells like the well known caramelized biscuit. Biscoff Lotus. Hey, I'll be having a nice week. It's uh, what's it today? Tuesday today. Tuesday, all day today is Tuesday, and then tomorrow's all day Wednesday. So, in the glass, bang, bang, it's not some of those bubbles off in the glass. It smells skunked. <laughs> With a brown bottle. Unbelievable. There is a skunking smell. 
Interesting. Maybe that'll go away in a minute. Bit of glass. It's all amber coloured. This I think this has got a widget, sort of slightly nucleated glass. There's certainly an etching on the bottom. So you've got a little bit of carbonation running up. Half a finger of head. There is a caramel nature to it. As it opens up a bit more, that caramel is coming through for a bit more as well. With it being Marston's, I'm not expecting it to be fantastic. I know that's a bit, a bit snobby, isn't it? But now that's opened up, there is a nice caramel aroma to it, actually. Biscuity uh, aroma. Contains sulfites. It doesn't smell too bad, I'm going to be honest. It doesn't smell too bad. Sweet caramel. Slightly, slightly biscuity. Yeah, so it's slightly, um, what do I call it? Artificial caramel. But there we go. That's what it tastes like. It's quite thin bodied. I didn't know I expected. Do you want to try this, Wanda? I've just tried it now. And I'm going to pass judgment after you have told the people what you think of the caramel caramel biscuit beer that's designed to look like a well-known caramel biscuit. Okay. Lotus, Biscoff. Oh, you've got the spice in that. You can smell the spice, like... I think it has got kind of spice in it, hasn't it? I don't know. I just think there's sort of caramel. caramel. Yeah, caramel. It's caramel. Yeah. What does it say on the bottle? Brown sugar. Brown sugar. It's a bit spice, isn't it? A bit of spice. It is caramel. It is caramel. I can taste caramel. Mm-hmm. Quite nice, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does that, what does that it's quite sweet beer. Very sweet, yeah. Not too sweet though. It, it's nice. I'd have it. I'll be quite happy. There's a little bit of hint of spice in that. Get like you get in a spice pudding. Excuse me, get out. Get sense? out of my shed, you. <laughs> um <laughs> pardon me. And if you eat that biscuit, it's probably yeah. I can see why it's caramel biscuit beer. I think the flavours will work better in a stout. Well, will they, though? Yeah. Um, there is a biscuitiness to it. Because it'll just be a caramel beer. It's quite biscuity in a stout, anyway, isn't it? Yeah. It's not, it's, it's not terrible. Well, it ain't going to be for you, because you don't like you, sweet beer. Well, you just wanted me to pick it up so you could have it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, wanted to try it. I was interested to see if it did taste like our favourite biscuit. It's, <clears throat> it's a little it's, bit similar, but it's, it obviously ain't going to taste like our biscuit. It's a bit different when you dunk it in a cup of tea. Would you like one? I'm all right. I'm going to wait for dinner. But yeah. But it, is there spice in that? It doesn't say, it just says sulfites. Mm. Um. A hint of spice, you know, like in a pudding, yeah. like, there's a bit of spice. Like it's like brown, brown it's sugar, probably the brown sugar, like. burnt. It's like a burnt, um, burnt. I'm getting more burnt caramel, yeah. which may be where that spice comes from. Okay. Well, what does that mean? And how much was it? 169, 179. Uh, do you know what? It's not. It, it reminds me of a Christmas beer. Like you'd have at Christmas. Well, cinnamon and sort Spice, of. I'm not yeah. getting any cinnamon out. It, it is all. Cinnamon. I'm pick. Caramel, yeah, I'm getting burnt, sort of a burnt caramel flavour to it, which might might be that that um brown sugar. So 
sort of demerara sugar. Um, it's not all. Is it awful? No, it's not awful. Is it a bit of fun? It's a bit of fun, isn't it? It's a bit of fun. I've had worse. Great channel. Great channel. I've had worse. I'm going to give David J some love. Um, it's not terrible. 4.8%. It, it's, it's, it's thin. It's wet. It's drinkable. If you're marking a beer on does it do what it says on the on the label, caramel biscuit flavoured beer, yes, it does. It is biscuity. There's a slight burn. One does about to have that. Um, so, no problem there. Um, I'm going to give it winter drink. I'm going to give it... I'm just going to give it a thumbs up. I'm going to give it... Uh, do I give it a thumbs up or do I give it a thumbs in the middle? One's, Wanda's giving it a thumbs up. Um, would I buy it again? No. Yeah. Wanda would. Um, at that price. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to give it... It'll probably give me a headache. I'm going to give it in the middle. I'm going I'm to be honest. I'm going to give it in the middle. It does what it says on the bottle. Would I buy it again? No. Is it terrible? No. Is it brilliant? No. Is it awful? No. So I'm going to give it one in the middle. If you tried the caramel biscuit flavour beer from Harper's, Marston's, um, then let me know. Uh, it's an Aldi. I don't think it's, been, I don't think it's really new, but at least around a little few weeks. Um, it's in the middle. Look out for tomorrow's announcement on the the, um, the podcast, very excited by that, and um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it as well. Um, if you like this, if you've had this, leave a comment in the comments box. If there's anything you want to see us review, then leave a comment in the comments box. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and then give it a thumbs down. There's a subscribe button somewhere. You may want to see you soon. Good evening.